Hello everybody and welcome back to a Monster Hunter World. Sorry I haven't been posting any videos as of recent because let's just say that my power supply went out which then fried my hard drives which got rid of all the videos I created for Monster Hunter World and well yeah so I gotta do all of it again. I hope you guys understand and we're gonna go right into it. So Everyone's been playing Monster Hunter World. You probably don't need a guide on everything, but you know, if you go to YouTube and you search up like Monster Hunter World, like how to play this, and you probably get like a few hundred videos of this like dude just playing Great Sword and how to play Great Sword. And or if you look up what I'm gonna be playing as the Hunting Horn. Yes, the support quote unquote weapon. No, this weapon is insane. You guys have no idea. So here I am. I'm gonna be that guy who's gonna give you a full, like, 120 hour plus gameplay of Hunting Horn walkthrough and what to do while, you know, playing the Hunting Horn. Sorry, for, we we just finished a tutorial. We I have 130 hours on my other, you know, character who's also a hammer Hunting Horn and I want to say bow, but it's not really a hammer Hunting Horn and switch axe character and i already have all the gear i need the only thing i need to farm for that are the jewels we'll go over those when we get there but you guys probably already know about them so let's just head on out to our hunting our great jagress also known as the one of the easiest large quote-unquote monsters in the game to kill but we're gonna f kill the small ones first so when you first set up playing Hunting Horn, you're like, oh, this might not be a good choice for me. Yeah, it's not. It's hard because it's all about positioning and timing with this thing. Because if you don't know, how, like, what to do while doing this, it's, it's, it's kind of hard. Oh, and obviously, gather and keep everything you need. I realized that on my 120-hour one pretty late into the game, so I didn't I messed up a lot. This is still part of like the tutorial. So what we're actually going to do is because, you know, we're not fully equipped like we are in my other character. And everybody's like, oh, yes, you need great gear to do all this other stuff. Correct, you do. But it's just, all right, all right, chill, hold your, hold your horses. What I, what you, what I recommend always doing is yeah, where is it? Do not have it yet. All right, whatever. Is to always eat something. Before your meal. If you're playing on controller, what you do is you hit that how to a fast eight. You hit the A button and then you hit the, on the Xbox controller, then you hit the start button to fast eat. And now look, we're already done. So if you haven't played Monster Hunter ever and you're trying to do Hunting Horn, let me tell you this. So up in the right, in the left-hand corner, is your name, how much time you have, is the little clock on the symbol. I'm pointing to it, but you can't see it because I'm stupid. I don't have my camera set up yet correctly. The green bar is your health, the yellow bar is your stamina, and the little like arrow icon underneath, not arrow, the sword icon is your sharpness bar. That we want to get to white. It's yellow and that's not good. And underneath that, you see all... Zai has my cat, but it's underneath that is where all your uh, special things are. And you see that cool little icon, that like hunting horn icon. So this is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to hit the release button, which is for everybody is, you know, right trigger. And this is cool animation. So if you see in the now upper right hand corner, you have the attack up small, health boost, wind pressure negate, and we have defense up. So we're going to get a defense up started here. We don't need wind pressure, but we're going to do a self-improve, which is double wise. All right, so we have now movement speed up, and now we're going to add in a small attack boost to us as well. And everyone's like, oh, the hunting horn's bad. No, you're literally applying all these boosts to yourself for free. Yes, there's an item in the game for your palico, which is the cat, which is going to allow you to, you know, boost yourself when you get a lower left-hand corner. 
the thing switching down here, you gotta go all the way through this. You gotta set your hot, you know, your hot bar weapon to one of these things. You know, it's just you don't need to do that with the hunting horn. So I have the attack up small ready, the movement speed up, and the defense up. So what it's gonna do so when we go into battle, what we're gonna hit is the right trigger again, and that's gonna play our songs. But we can keep those in mind. Let's go on our little tutorial hunt. But yeah, this is all you know, basic tutorial stuff. So I'm doing a walkthrough of how to play the hunting horn. I don't think anyone has done like a 40 video plus hunting horn ever. So to sprint is the right trigger. To pull out is the you know, right bumper. My bad. So as I say, collect everything that you can. Like back there, we skipped a lot. Like that way, we skipped a lot of stuff we could have grabbed. Let me get this herb. But I'm just trying to run through these missions so I can show you guys like how good this weapon actually is. I want to. I want to. Do we really need a need? Okay, needle berries. So most berries are really good for making potions. Some are not, but always grab them just in case, even though. You only have a certain amount, and this is what we call slinger ammo, where you hold your left trigger down and you right trigger it to fire it. And this it can hit monsters instead of a lot of things. Alright. So what we're going to do is hit our right trigger button, now we're going to start playing our song. It's, it sounds weird, I know. And you, they can interrupt our, you know, attacks and everything. So there's two gone already. Like, it's... So what we want to do is when you when you kill it, obviously go back and hit your B button so we can gather materials. Because this is actually going to be a huge part of the game. You're going to spend at least majority of your time, like, not even majority, I would say like 90% of your time is going to be uh, wailing on monsters and collecting things. Like, m maybe 80% of that 90%, <laughs> which is going to probably confuse a lot of people right there, is you just gathering like it's just you gathering things. And that what we hit was called my uh, flash fly, which you know allows us to stun. I say that as you know, but I don't know if you guys are brand new or veterans of the game. So we're pretty much done with this quest in just a second. We're going to hit this flash fly, and then we're just going to... There's one. There's another one. All right, so then you, you want to go away. And what, what's kind of cool about this game is that they're all, you can't get injured once your quest is complete, so go free and go ahead and wail on everything. So what I recommend, just straight off the gate, is definitely collect monster bones. Because that's the gear you are going for first. Mo bone bone armor is the first thing you are going for. Why? It's like the best for low tier. And then if you get going, you can start hunting higher, you know, a little bit higher rank stuff. Which will allow you to get better gear, but we're going to be building a hunting horn build that its sole purpose is to keep us alive and regenerate our health consistently, as well as keep our teammates' health and our teammates alive. Wow. And I know you're going to be out there, oh, there's so much damage hunting horn. Like, yes, but that's if you're going straight DPS in the game. You don't have to go DPS and Monster Hunter World. I'm just telling you, no. The hunting horn is the slow, drawn-out weapon. So I have to get water here because, you know, I'm talking a lot for, you know, being me. Take everything, no matter what. Okay. When you get later in the game, when you know you have a butt ton of stuff, you can keep or sell what you want to, you know, use. 
but it's recommended like 100% to keep the anything that you have because you don't know what you're going to do. You could be like, oh, I'm going to play Hunting Horn, and then you might go switch to like the Great Sword, which is, in my personal opinion, the most used, most popularized, most like the, 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 the showboy of Monster Hunter World. Because I see everyone use it. So is the Lance, Naga Prana, whatever. So I just joined a session, whatever. Anyways, what I'm thinking about is, like, you can join the sessions. You don't have to get my login bonus. Login bonus just allows us to, you know, get tickets, get materials. Oh, they're very nice with that one. I don't remember. recommend that one. And you do see the... Uh, voice icon in the upper right hand of my screen you really do not want that on because what it does is it allows you to talk to people within the game if you're not a person who likes to talk or play with others unless they're friends use discord it's easier make sure it's off that's that thing hello nobody can hear me all right cool except for you guys who are listening obviously but so speak to the smitty and no, it's not Smitty as in, you know, part of Vanoss Gaming and, you know, others. I'm talking about this Smithy. And do you see these people? Let's talk to you. And I'll tell you right now, you see this thing? I'm standing in front of the lift. That will save you a butt ton of time. Because... You saw how long it took us to walk all the way up to the stairs and up there. Now watch this. Just you go straight up to this. I'm going to go to the workshop and watch. Three, two, one. Right about now, we'd be like halfway up those stairs down there. So the more monsters hunt, the more monsters you kill, the more, you know, equipment you can uh Upgrade, which you know kind of makes sense. So, you go down the hunting horn. Cool. So, now we can go build this hunting horn. And if we get really good, we can start building the bone tree, which is also a very good start for the horn. But see, we haven't beat the monsters on this, correct? You see that? All right, cool. You see it. So we're going to get a metal bagpipe too. <coughs> Sorry, I am burping and drinking water. This is not an ASMR. Anyways, there will be probably funny videos and there will be me raging a lot at it. So we can't upgrade it to, you know, gear. But we're going to, so you see here, so I unlocked this stuff, right? So this is why it shows up. Which, you know, <laughs> it kind of doesn't make much sense to probably everybody here. So we're just going to... Actually, no, we're not going to even upgrade that. Cool. And all these quests and everything, I recommend at least clear, like saying yes to all of them so you do have something to go to, if that makes sense, you know? Like you just talk to all of them, get quests, do those, and then continue with your game, yada, yada, yada. You know, you get the quest, you do the quest, you turn on your quest in. Like, that's the game. That's how... And everyone's like, oh, Monster Hunter World is a grind. Yes, there are parts in this game where it's legit just nothing, absolute nothing but RNG. And some of us are so blessed where it's like... Yeah, I got it the first time. Wow, there's people like me where like, I got to farm the dude like a hundred times just to get the piece I need. And by the time I get the hundredth time, I'm saying, screw this. And I'm like, why do I even need to do this? And then I get it. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. And then by that time, you know how to beat the monster like with your eyes closed, which I've seen a lot of, I've seen what this one Twitch dude and YouTube dude do, which is like, dang, you, you are cool. Like, you good. Like, you. You're the man, dude. Like if you can, if you can beat him with your eyes closed, that's insane. And we all know who him is. And if you're just now starting Monster Hunter World, you'll figure it out when I get there. So 
sorry if you cannot hear like the, the you know the music or whatever in the background. I turn it down because I listen to my own when I play it. These are optional events. So we go to optional, we get level one, and that is we've completed a thicket of thugs. Like we've done that, and now we have a you know we can deliver twenty gourmet shroom caps, which are located in section one area, which is you know. I can, I'm pointing to it again. I really, really wish I had multiple cameras so I can show you where I'm pointing. So we can do that. We don't have to, but we're going to do the assigned, which is going to hunt a Kistadon Kerfuffle. Which is that down there. And we want to get the bone piles from everywhere. Bones. You need bones. I will not stress this enough. Bones are super important in this game. More important than most people think they are. So what I'm actually going to do is... We'll do the assigned quest. We'll see how you know that goes. But I know we have low, not enough armor to... We, well, we do. Oh, I know I do. I know I can beat them. I don't know about you guys who are just starting out with the hunting horn and are brand new. But please do it and please watch the videos because... It needs, you need to be good. I just got an error message from OBS. Thank you, don't care. I use OBS. Good studio, for, good platform to record stuff on. Oh, well. I don't think we need, oh, we'll always check the supply box no matter what. If you do not, shame on you. Anyways, we're gonna go kill some Kessadon real fast. I might need to use a higher encoder apparently, which is like you know what my thing is telling me to do. So just give me one momento over here to fix my encoder settings apparently. Which doesn't make any sense that my encoder scale is off because I made sure it's high as heck. No not not you know stoned of course programs can't get stoned or I at least hope they don't because if they do that's you know that's, that's a little bit of the uh, room silly you know all right I'll fix that later because it blacked out because I am recording currently so hello hopefully you guys are still here and enjoying the video if you guys aren't well that kind of hurts my feelings a little bit because I'm not, this is not my job, but I wish it, you know, was. I'm not the next PewDiePie. I'm not no Vanoss. I'm not no, you know, Keemstar or Logan Paul or KSI. Who, speaking of that, don't even get me started on that really dumb fight that they had that ended up in a really stupid draw. And if you cannot hear that in the background, that's my cat howling at the other cat that we have, which is, you know, okay. Mimi. Her name is Mittens. We call her Mimi. But the more you explore, the more you do quests, the more parts of the map you unlock. And as I said, oh, Nullberries. Definitely pick up those for later. You will 100% need Nullberries. And you can capture these those birds for academic, epidemic life, I think it's called. <laughs> it's always fun listening to my cats fight which is you know, probably a bad idea because I don't want anyone to be saying your cats are fighting that's not a good thing well they always fight through like the windows if that makes sense so one's howling on the outside but the other house on the inside can you please be quiet for like a minute please no anyways okay so we're just gonna Go down here and definitely do slide attacks if you have the chance to do so, because they do. Well, that didn't happen correctly. And every time you see the RT pop up when you're playing a song, hit it when you have the time to do so. Because it will make your stuff larger. 
So it's going from like a small to a large, or like a large to an extra large. It really does help. And you might be saying, I should go fix my cat real fast. Uh, yes, I should. That was on me. We're gonna go our. We're trying to get up my. I'm trying to get my defense up. Yes, she's now fighting through the window like she always does. So it's okay, guys. Don't worry about it. Even though I bet you some of you guys are like, go fix your cat. You're like, my cat is okay. They're both okay. I'm gonna kill that. Jesus, my cat is not happy. So I have a defense up. What I do, I'll hit Y instead of B. Make sure you play the right notes first, to be honest. Oh, make sure you aim for the heads when you're playing this weapon. As well as the hammer, because this weapon does KO damage. And definitely keep, remember, farm and skin everything you possibly can if you fit, you know. Right? Shish, please. I'm trying to do a recording. Did that work? Nope. As I said earlier, get bones. Here's a really good bone pile. You can just come over and easily farm if you kill all the Kessathons, which are pretty easy if you can't tell. And now do you see how my sword is now red? So what you want to do is go to your sharpening, which should be left bumper, shortcut one, wheatstone. I call it wheatstone, even though I know it's called whetstone. Now we have two of three and three of five. So they do respawn after a little bit. What we're going to do is go up here, get this mining node. What we're actually going to go grab is the shroom caps. Just real fast because we need to get those for another quest that we have. But I think that's just a quest you're doing anyways. Anyways, that's what kind of happens. So what we're going to do is just we're just going to do we have this? Oh, we got a rare stake. We just missed it. All right, let's try that again. Now we got our first well done stake. So this, what this does is actually increase your, see now that's at full, it was at full. I'm just showing that it does increase. So we are also low on health. I do recommend making making first aid kits then make first aid kits plus but we really want is what this is mega potions and then we gotta move into make no mega nutrients then we move into ancient potions and using max potions there's a lot of crafting things that you guys need to learn which we will go over sooner or later one of the two we're sitting here because those catches on will respawn if you sit here just for a minute or two, hopefully I remember if I remember if I remembered it correctly. So what we're actually gonna do? Is we're gonna self improve ourselves real fast because we need to redo that. So if you can't see by my name. In the upper left hand corner you see a sword two notes and a potion pile that just means that i have attack up my two movement speeds up and i have my health up you know my health recovery i don't have my defense yet because i didn't play that song these guys are taking a little bit longer than usual to respond oh well, let's just gather this I missed that. 
Alright, we're going to go over here, definitely get the blue mushrooms as well. Those will be very helpful for you in, a, in making powders and traps, like monster help. So then I ha like having a little bit of fun. We're going to engage our capture net. I'm just going to scare those guys off. Uh, I was hoping that would catch at least one of them. And then we're going to go down here, gather, always gather herbs, no matter what, regardless. Herbs, herbs are the best. And as my, one of my favorite YouTubers says, herbs and dirgs. That's from his desolate gameplay, game through, I don't know. Dude, what the heck, they haven't respond yet. They should be. Y'all just not. Thank you. So I'm actually going to run back this way. I'm actually going to go see if we have access to this thing over here. Yeah, okay. Seems like we do not. Oh, here's an item. No, we can. And your power code, the little cat dude, will help you gather things. Like, it, it, it will. There we go. We got ourselves a bliss bird. Bliss bird? Or I said bliss bird. Bliss. Y'all ain't back yet, and this is kind of concerning me because you're all supposed to be back by now. Oh well, so we're just gonna kind of wander. Yeah, you can go that way later. Right now we're just unlocking areas where we can, you know, gather stuff. We really don't want to be in this part right now. I hear, oh, it's just a thing flapping. I'm like, I hear the dude. I don't know why you're not. Paratoad. Paratoads are very useful in this game. And then we're going to. So this will, we're, this is going to be where another camp is going to be. You're going to unlock in a few missions. We're just kind of like. Gathering this area. Drop down. Now we have to run back to our little bone pile. Grab this. Grab that. You can kill these pigs. I don't like killing them. Only reason why I don't like killing them is just it's almost not worth the while. So remember, collect all the bones you can. You will need bones dropped from big dudes, as I call them. And try not to get eaten by the fish here. Like, it's going to put a real detriment on your uh, adventure. <laughs> and then we get to go see if those stupid dudes are back, which they should be by now. upsetting but it's so the things do re like 
respawn. So if I turn around the right there, I'm really upset. I'm actually gonna activate this. Wet finish. That's pretty good, actually. If I do say so myself. Alright, so I don't know what's going on with this quest, but you should be able to, uh, kill these things. It's taking a lot longer than it needs to be. Can I talk to you or no? Because these things aren't respawning, and they should be. Anyways, we're gonna explore more then, because... I guess this game doesn't like us waiting around. Let's collect some spider webs. And we can get some bright moss, which we can just sling at things. Is this the entrance way that we came through the first time? No. There are the, the Jagrasses that we so love. I'm just going to say screw it, run over here. They're all going to run in there. Grab, 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 grab. Be greedy. Be definitely be greedy in this game when it comes to uh, gathering materials. Then we should run back this way. Grab the honey. Grab this herb. There should be a lot of things over here. Like that's a vitality thing where you, you hit and it gives you health back. And you can see there's a ton of them. But for us to like learn the locations, we just gotta hit all of them. Oh, here are some Kestodons. I forgot there's over here too. My bad, guys. So we got the one of those. Pop. Now we get to the best part of this hunt. We get to go fight Mr. Glutton himself. And we all know who that is, little mister, I'm going to eat everything in front of your face, dude. Alright, just follow the trails, pretty much. Grab this. Definitely try to use vines as an advantage, because they will help in your game a lot. Chill, dude. Oh, okay. Cutscene, my bad. I'm ready. It always collect all the tracks that you see until your monster like bar. See that until you're, it's like full.
and the swim and there's no underwater battles in this game at all like none you know which is fine but it comes with other monster hunter games might not be so fine. Oh, hi. Don't use a focus camera though. It's not worth your effort. Just keep hitting it in the face. Now we're gonna dodge here. We're gonna use our health boost up. See, that's what a knockout does, which is really, really useful. trying to do as much damage to the face as possible because of its knockout potential like that see it just happens just it's so much fun when you get the monsters like on its side dude it's so much fun all right so we need to so we need to get our sharpness up it's not happy okay so that's a good time for us to get our uh, wheat stone out. What stone, wheat stone? I don't give a crap. We can be mean about it. Whoop de doo, I don't care. I'll call it what I want. <laughs> Sorry if I do, if it's gonna be one of those longer videos for Monster Hunter, but it's like, you know, the first hunt's usually the most fun. Cause you... Okay, so here's a tip that I learned. Always, always, always. Hunt the monster first by yourself and then ask for friends to help you. Reason being is, is that because when you're hunting it by itself, it pretty much has quote unquote normal health. And then every time you add a character or a player to it, it the monster gets buffed and gets better health and better stats. But uh, then again, you're also getting another teammate to come help you. So at the same time, it's like, Like I said, collect everything, except for these things. Those two things are, come on, charge me, please. So we use the scatter net. Which we want to stagger him just a little bit. There we go. Not yet, woman. Jeez. All right. And always try to do combos when you're, you know, facing monsters like this. Now I gotta do an attack up small. Uh oh, yeah, that's what I thought. I, you know, duh, Sherlock, thank you for telling me a little bit later. And that Vigor Wasp that your Hellcat's bringing back will save your butt way more than you think it will. Oh, I didn't mean to hit you, dude. Oh, well, don't care. Okay, so we got all the horns off just in time. We don't need wind pressure yet because... So it's running, so 
and you can't really tell what the health of the monster is. If you look down on your lower left part of the screen, you usually see your map, and you see the little RS button. If you click that and you look or look next to it, you can see the little like health meter, quote unquote, of what the monster is, and then like the yellow eye next to it determines if it's enraged, looking for you, or it's normal. And when the monster is usually super injured, there's going to be little skulls popping up off your map, right? So definitely do those. And we didn't create any or bring any mega barrel bombs or anything, any bombs or any any traps whatsoever at all, which is bad on us. Because capturing the monster will actually give you like, quote, don't quote me on this, but like almost double, sort of. Of stuff you get from monsters, pretty much. So, like, you get like five things if you kill it. Let's say you might get six or seven things, which is not double, but you know, it's dang near. Oh, and always, when it's asleep like this and you want to wake it up or kill it, always put barrels by its head and then have the heaviest hitter, which is usually me at the moment because I'm by myself, which is going to be most of the game, that. Nail it with the barrels and everything together, but use the hardest hitting attack. But the uh, hunting horn doesn't really have a huge hit, so we're just gonna run up and hit Y on it because usually your 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 first hit does double damage. Uh, no one said you can eat, sir. So I got that up, so we're just gonna see if we can activate. Oh, nope, I thought I could stun him with that. Oh, we, we're still. <laughs> definitely use a flash fly to your advantage. It's definitely worth the while. Boom, there we go. And that's how you beat a great dragon with a hunting horn. I'm gonna take off some water, my throat is so dry. Ugh, water, and so you got a minute to run around and do stuff. Don't stand there like a moron and, you know, wait. Always try to find something you can run to and collect. Oh, crap. But I'm a bit dumb at the moment because I didn't go do what you're supposed to do. Run up to it and carve it. So I played that really, really wrong. <laughs> and there you go. We got that the last second, which is yay for me. But I'll try to keep on my upload schedule which is like monday wednesdays and fridays i know today is saturday and i'm posting this now but it's like i'm trying to get the feel for it Sorry, there's a cutscene. I know you guys have probably all seen it. I don't want to interrupt it. But as I was saying, I know it's Saturday. I'll be trying to get my upload schedule off like Monday, Wednesday, Friday. 
maybe Sundays if possible. I am a college student. I do have work, like an actual job. I'm not saying YouTube's not a job. YouTube for me is just on the side for fun. I'm not the guy who's like, oh, I want so many followers and need so much money. No, I'm not going to monetize any of my videos. No, I don't need, you know, popularity on YouTube. But, you know, getting people to follow me, it will be a great, or subscribe, technically, it would be so awesome. So please like the video. Hopefully you watch it all the way through. So like, subscribe, comment if you really want to. Go ahead if you guys want to see something different than the hunting horn. Let me know. I'm not proficient with really every weapon, but I am good at the hunting horn, hammer, bow. Uh, what are they called? And not great sword, not long sword. Pretty much that. Oh, and switch axe. I'm pretty good with that one. And gun lance as well, and lance. So oh, every tankier looking item you can possibly have. <laughs> I'm decent at. So hopefully you guys watch all the way through. Thank you for joining me for the second video because the first video was the first part and I knew, you know, all those cutscenes which took ages. I know what you guys are talking about. So hopefully you guys understand and everything. So I'll see you guys later. Peace.